What is up guys, welcome back to the video, it's Mikey from JDM Icon here. Before we get started with today's video, I want you guys to leave a like down below as it really does help out the channel. And another thing to mention, by the time you guys are seeing this, it would be probably March, March 16th, 2022. At this time, the store will be open. Right now, I am rocking this Bring the Streets of Tokyo Home hoodie. It does feature an R32 and a Mark IV Supra on the back. This is a really, really cool design. It's Probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite design that we came out with for this drop. And it also does feature a little quote on the wrist here that says, surround yourself with people who see your value and remind you of it. Which is something I really like. It kind of reminds you to like keep going and uh, to value yourself and be around people that see and support the things that you're doing to chase your dreams, be who you want to be and do what you want to do. I think that's really cool. It's a really nice touch and it's right on like the sleeve here too. So it's always like pointed towards you with whatever you're doing is always going to remind you which is something we want to strive for with JDM icon to not only make cool fun content for you guys to watch and come out with cool products like this but also inspire you guys to do what you guys want to do and chase your dreams and stuff like that so after this video hit the link down below in the description check out the shop it is now live as of March 16th 2022 we got the motion anime peekers which is really cool it like moves around it's like getting three four peekers for like the price of one basically which is really really cool we have new infinity mirror designs as well as the new clothing and hoodies we also have the designs from the first drop if you guys missed that and want to check it out it is still live on the website so before we close the door make sure you check it out and also make sure you follow our shop page with a JDM icon Dot JP on Instagram. We give you guys all the updates on our cars, the store, new products, sneak peeks and stuff like that. If you guys want to check out some behind the scenes stuff, make sure you guys follow that. We are going to be coming out with a bunch of new products in the future. Not only in this drop, but in the next few drops. We're going to keep improving and improving and improving. And we want to give you guys something that you guys like and enjoy. And if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below on this video or on our Instagram. So you've seen and heard the iconic... It's just super satisfying. It's one of the things that I never really cared about at first until I saw it on TikTok and on Instagram and YouTube and stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna try and sum it all up and make it easy for you guys to understand and let you guys know about the different styles of quick releases that are on the market and which ones you should stay away from and which ones are popular in the scene. So to make it easy for you guys, I broke this down into three categories, safety, styles, and the quick releases that ding for the guys who are interested in getting the iconic ding. So to start things off with safety, you don't wanna cheap out on a quick release because it is part of your car's steering. In the case you guys get into an accident, your hands are on the steering wheel. You don't want to be holding onto something and then it fly off and could make the accident worse or could even make it fatal. And the next trick is called the hospital flip. <laughs> Why is he called a hospital flip? When you do own a setup like this, you do obviously delete this, the airbag, which is a safety feature of the car. So you don't want to make things worse by not only deleting the airbag, but replacing it with cheap parts that could even result in a worse accident. In my opinion, you guys be sure to buy these parts from good reputable brands. If you're buying a steering wheel, don't buy the cheapest replica steering wheel out there as they're only kind of used for sim racing, not really on real cars, as well as the quick releases. You don't want to cheap out on those because the quick release literally takes your steering wheel off and you don't want your steering wheel to be flying everywhere when you're in an accident or when you're driving. And in the case you're in the market for a used quick release setup, which there are tons of used ones on the market, be sure that the safety switch on the quick release works and that everything is okay. You don't want to have a quick release setup that doesn't have the safety switch because in the case that you are in an accident and the steering wheel could fly off, there's no safety. It's kind of like having a gun with no safety. It's really dangerous, so be sure that that works before you buy a used one. Okay, so styles of quick releases. There are so many quick release styles out there. There's ones that flip, ones that are pull types, pin types, and obviously the slim quick releases. We're going to be covering all of that in this category of the video. So the first one I'm going to bring up is one that isn't really popular in the JDM car scene that I've seen. I haven't even seen one at a car meet or anything. I've only really seen them at car shows, in racing cars, uh, off-road cars and stuff like that that are like strictly like race cars and not street cars at all. These are called pin style, racing style, or three bolt style. The pin style essentially is a quick release that, that have grooves on the inside and the outside and you slide in your steering wheel and you put a pin through it so it locks in place and it doesn't come out. So there's no springs or ball bearings inside the actual quick release. It's really, really simple. 
putting the pin in locks it in place you can steer the car and everything like that it makes the steering wheel and the actual steering shaft one piece once the pin is in and when you need to remove the steering wheel you slide the pin out and the whole thing comes off really simple design it's durable it works really well but from what i've seen in my opinion it looks kind of ugly i've never seen one on a japanese street car before or at a car meet so this is something i would personally stay away from you can't even adapt like a nardi steering wheel onto one of these quick release setups because again it only has three bolts and most of the aftermarket steering wheels that you would see are six bolt so the next style we're going to be talking about is the flip style now personally this is one of my favorite styles because i think it looks so cool when you flip the steering wheel up and you get out of your car and the steering wheel is displayed in the interior it looks really cool in my opinion works bell does make the authentic real one there are also cheaper options available like the energy option which is okay to buy energy is pretty reputable from what i've heard and what i've used i have energy quick releases on my car no issues at all. The downfalls with this quick release is the steering wheel doesn't come off completely. It just kind of disconnects this way and has the steering wheel faced up. If you guys are looking for something that dings or you want the steering wheel to come off completely for in the case that you're racing or want to add another added safety to your car just so it doesn't get stolen, you can take the steering wheel inside. This quick release unfortunately does not allow the steering wheel to come completely off. It just stays in the car, it disconnects it, but it doesn't come off completely. Josh has one in his Evo and he hasn't had any issues with it. It locks up really well. Personally, this is one of my favorites. So the most popular style of quick release is the pull-off style. There are two variations of it, one being the slimmer one and one being the thicker one. The most popular one is the thicker one as it's a replica of the work spell quick release. The authentic work spell quick release though doesn't ding if that's what you're looking for, which its replica counterpart by energy is the popular one which dings. Just in case you guys are confused by, by thinking the real one is the one that actually dings, but, but from what I've heard, the authentic work spell quick release doesn't ding. And I know the ding is the most important part but some people they do want that ding others don't so I just want to put that out there this style quick releases come in a bunch of different colors and different variations and styles as well the 2.0 specifically is the one that dings but if you do end up getting the 2.1 to the 4.0 it does come with a sleeve on the quick release that was just like an added handle in a sense but there is a really small allen head bolt on there which you can unscrew and slide the whole thing off i believe there is also a c-clip on there so i can probably make a video on this in the future if you guys are interested in the case that you end up buying a quick release like that it is possible to make it ding you just have to take that thing off so this gray piece right here actually acts like a little bell so yeah that's how that's how the ding works but if you're quick release doesn't make that dinging sound that bell sound it probably won't ding the energy 2 series quick releases are the only ones that ding uh, specifically the 2.0 those are the only ones that dings from my knowledge and if you guys do want the ding grab the energy 2.0 there are a bunch of colors to match whatever your interior styles or color scheme is i highly recommend those ones because they are because they're pretty affordable and also pretty safe to use as well and last but not least which is the final style i'm sure there are different styles of quick releases out there other than the four main ones i just listed in this video but these are the ones you probably run into at the car meets today i haven't seen any other quick releases locally where i am other than the ones i listed in this video this is actually the slim quick release it is as you can see it is a lot slimmer compared to the other one here so it is like almost like, i want to say like half so you basically just spin the collar. This part attaches to your steering wheel. So as you can see, there are six, there are 12 bolts going around here. Six of them will be bolted onto your steering wheel. The other six is a different bolt pattern for Momo and Nardi steering wheels. So this one will go onto your steering wheel and this would allow you to remove the steering wheel completely. And this part stays on your car. You basically just put this part inside here. Once you line up all the teeth and then you turn this around here to lock it in place and you kind of hear a click there you go and it is all locked in now with this quick releases i believe the original one is sparko i could be wrong i highly recommend to not buy a cheap one because i did try a really cheap one it was like 10 15 bucks on amazon or wish or something like that and it actually had some play in the steering wheel here which isn't good the only purpose of the slim quick release is to be thinner than the rest of the quick releases i just named in the case that you don't want your steering wheel super close to you but now that we covered all the different style of quick releases i'm going to explain to you what you're going to need other than the quick release to have and make your own setup 
So the first thing you're gonna need to get is a hub. Now the hub is actually really important because these ones are car specific. Everything else is not car specific, meaning it's universal across all cars basically, as long as you have a hub. This is an authentic works bell steering wheel hub for my Evo, which I haven't thrown on the car yet. Basically, this is a short hub. This replaces where the factory steering wheel bolts on to. This is a factory steering wheel from my Z. Basically, as you can see, the steering wheel is actually a lot thicker over here. This is basically what the hub replaces. So as you can see on the back of the hub, it's the same part as this. Okay, so now that we're done with the hub, the next is the quick release. So I did cover a bunch of quick release styles. You just have to pick the right one. So essentially, once you have the hub, you're gonna bolt on the quick release onto the hub. There is another part that goes on the back here that bolts onto the hub and this one bolts onto the steering wheel. So to sum up this video, what you're gonna need to change your steering wheel setup is a hub, which is car specific. Make sure you know the year, make and model and subcategory sometimes of your car. The quick release is optional, but there are a bunch of different styles and colors out there. So just make sure you pick the right one. Don't cheap out on any of these. And the last but not least, the steering wheel. You can just go out and pick a style of steering wheel that you like and make sure that you consider. And just remember if you have a standard hub, quick release and an extra deep dish steering wheel, your steering wheel setup is gonna be really, really close to you. That's just something to think about when buying these different parts for your car. And another reminder before we end today's video that the site is now live. So go ahead and check out the website. The link is in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.